Well, over the past year and a half, we have kept track with LaPorte School's growing garden. And today, local farmers stepped in with some fresh ideas. Our Brenda Mack tells us more in this week's Golden Apple. This is the best school ever! Behind LaPorte School lies fresh fruits and greens ready for harvest. But today, these little gardeners have a much tastier agenda. I love everything here. So delicious! From maple syrup to pea shoots to kale pizza, local farmers brought out some homegrown produce for kids to try. What is that stuff called over there? To share new flavors. Even the buffalo meat tastes like beef jerky. And teach them what it takes to bring food to the plate. Do you guys know what these are? The sap of the tree comes out. I just want kids to be able to try new things and really to be able to learn what kind of things can grow in this local area because I think they probably don't realize what all can be grown close to home. And with the overwhelming love for tomatoes in this garden, teachers hope to inspire kids to grow fruits like these that take a longer time to ripen after today's program. I love watermelons. How do they start? You know, they ask me how you start these or how you grow these. This is a very special day, probably one of the most special days I've had as a farmer. The white range of flavors may have been a hit or a miss. I don't like it. <laughs> but these students sure have savored the moment. You like the every last drop. They're like a wrapped up present. Tastes kind of like a tomato, but a mix between a cherry. I think that's what they call them, um, present cherries. Yeah. And it looks like LaPorte will soon have a fruity season. For this week's Golden Apple, Brenda Mack, LinkedIn News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.